Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Joseph. In today's tutorial, we will be covering um, Stump's request around um, screen resolution and um, attaching a joystick to a view. So, in Game Maker, it's a little bit convoluted on how to attach screens and screen resolutions. So, I'm going to show you guys a rough workaround. Um, so, you're going to see that I've got a couple of objects, I've got my joystick. I've built, I've made a simple building, I've got a screen resolution, I've got a joystick function here, which I've done nothing too fancy. I have adjusted the depth value just to keep it in line. I've not made any changes other than just getting rid of the player function there. And I've got the same draw function. I've got a player debug, which will come into play to show screen resolution. Oh, not screen resolutions, um, the movement of the screen. So let's begin. So in here, you can see I've got a room set up already. So if I hit the play button, what we're going to see is the room that I've set up to play in. Nothing too fancy. You'll see that I've got the joystick. I've got all the setup there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in here. I'm going to put my player object, my player debug object, I should be clear. And I'm going to enable a view. So in here, I'm going to enable it to use views. I'm going to enable the new view. I've already set the view to 640 by 480, which is just a smaller resolution than the screen I'm using. And I'm going to tell it to follow my player object. So the first thing in Game Maker is we need to look at how we attach views in, in game. So you're going to see if I now move my joysticks all the way over here, and I can't use it when I'm over here, which is not quite what we want. So I need to go to my object joystick and in here I'm going to need to basically go my x of my joystick is equal to my view x view so view like so um, tells it that I'm using the active view in Game Maker. Um, and this is an array, so if you've, if you've never dealt with an array, all this is doing is I'm saying I'm using view 0. So if I quickly come back in here, you'll see I've got view 0 selected. So you've got view 1, 2, 3, 4. So in all intents and purposes, view 0 is the one we want. The next thing I'm going to need to do, so that's going to jump my x position up into the corner. I'm then going to add view port. Oh, view doo -doo -doo. Oh. width. Ah, done it again. View width, which is basically saying from X, the width of my screen. So it's going to put it over there. And then I'm going to go minus 64, which will bring it back a little bit. And I'm going to put that in some brackets because that is the appropriate bot mass. Like so. And then I'm going to put my Y, my Y, and my height, like so. So that's going to adjust the position to the bottom right-hand corner. And let's just prove that it works. There it is, at my bottom right-hand corner. But you're going to see I'm getting this weird lag effect. And I've had a couple of attempts at fixing this and finally remembered why it happens. So this is happening because the step event happens after the draw event. If I take this and I insert it into my draw event because my draw event happens before my step event, it's going to fix it. So basically, this is where you have to be sometimes a bit conscious around where you're inserting code. So that's great. So now the problem is, is I want this to scale, right? So one of the things with scaling is it can get a bit painful and I'd strongly recommend setting a default resolution that you want to use but basically what we're going to need to do when we're versing our scale so in in this function here for example I need to go to my create and this happens once a game session so uh, as an example I would go global dot var um, x scale res 
is going to be equal to my... I've got to think about how to do this now. Because what we're going to need to verse, we need two values to verse. So here, for example, I want my screen height. So let's say my default screen size. So my default would be 1024. And I need to divide that value by my view. And I need to divide it by my view h view. Right? And what that's going to give me is it's going to give me this slightly smaller value. So if I do this and I'm going to draw it like so. So I'm just going to draw text. Oh. You'll have to excuse that one. That's my neighbor replacing his fence. So I'm going to have to make this super quick. So that's my screen resolutions or screen res. So I'm just going to insert that and I'm just going to put it into room like so. And we should see a value point appear. 2.13. So what that would basically do is make it expand the screen. So the tricky part with this, to make sure we get it right, I think I need to do the reverse because we need it to be a smaller value all the time. One is our max limit and we need it to go downwards. So we need to return a point value like so. So what we can do now once we have that point value is if I come into, let's say my joystick, and in here, because I know I made some modifications, so in here, see how we have this value here, how we've shrunk it a little bit? What I would do in essence is then go image, x scale is equal to oh, image x scale, so I'm just saying it's equal to itself, multiplied, so this is why it's important to have this lower value to our global x res scale like so and what this is going to do in essence is it's going to modify our images x scale so we should most likely get some pretty warpy oh wow yeah really warpy so if i go here and i now do it with my y value so we should always even these out. Whoops, that should have been width, sorry. And that should have been height. So that is seven, six, eight or something from memory. Let's see what impact that has on our scale here. So I'm gonna take the same function. I'm just gonna copy and paste. Just like so. And let's see what it does. Hopefully we get a smaller sprite image. Or I've just totally destroyed something. Hmm. Let me just comment these out. What are you doing, game? So there's my scale. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Hang on. You gotta, you're going to have to forgive me. It's been a while since I've played with screen resolutions. Let's do that. Let's see what impact that has. Oh, yeah, there we go. Told you it's been a while. So the first one is scaling correctly. Why isn't the second one scaling, though? So if you take a look at my programming in here, you can see I've got an X scale here and a Y scale, but I don't have anything applied in here. So what I need to do is in here is the same thing. So if I scroll over, so you can see I've got my temp thumbstick. Oh, I've already inserted some code for it. 
But what I'll do is I'll plus... Ah, I see. Okay. So what I need to do... So this is going to break a little bit. But that's okay. So I'm just going to take out my temp values here. And replace them with my X and Y values. Like so. And what we should see is they'll scale together. So basically all you'd need to do is add them up, add them up so they behave the same way. So as you can see, they're now scaled down, still in the same position. So if I wanted to fix this and make the amendment here, so this is 15. So what I would do is under my scale function here, I would take that minus my temp value and again on this minus my temp value like so Ooh. yep like so so now if i run that we're going to see that again i've repaired the little issue i've generated so now like so works again now this is also going to have other implications so you can see for example the distance here needs to be accounted for so all I need to basically do is take my X and Y scale and in here, anything I've got distances on, for example, my mins is multiply my min value. So I need to add these two together. So I need to add my Y, X and Y, and then I'll divide that by two because that will get my average like so and that will then recount or recalculate everything based on what I need it to do and in theory I don't actually need that like so so that should now adjust why are you flagging an error shouldn't be flagging an error Oh, no, I see why it's flagging an error. Joseph can't program. Like so. So that's going to readjust everything. So let's just take a quick look. And that should now re reset all distances. Like so. So it's basically this value will impact everything you do in the game. So it's not hard to do. Um, I do have another tutorial that explains another way to achieve it and it's just plugging in the same value. So it's just basically, this is what we would call up my hard screen resolution or I'd call this my max resolution I'm looking at. So if I'm building a game at, let's say, full HD, I would set that as my max resolution and scale everything downwards from there. Um, I hope this helped. I, again, I want to thank everyone that's commenting um, and liking videos and that you guys are all really amazing. You're really actually generating a lot of um, foot traffic through the channel and I'm really thankful for that. Um, I'd like to say everyone, need, I hope everyone's staying safe um, in these times and again, please have a great day. I'll talk to you later.